before we can get on into this video, I wanted to say this is my unofficial official intro for today's video. Hey guys, and yep, that's me. Today I am going to serve you a look only using basketball nets. So pretty much we are going to be turning this into something that hopefully looks like this. Before we can get on into this video, please don't forget to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and be a part of the familia. And if you would like to financially support this channel to where I can do hauls, more sewing tutorials, and such, then go down to the GoFundMe link. At least $5 will help. I think that's the minimum amount you can choose anyways. But if you would like to support that way, then that option is there for you. Oh, that's our cue. Roll the intro. I went ahead and grabbed four basketball nets just to be rather safe than sorry. And I just got the cheaper ones that were like $1.95 or 97 whatever the case may be. They also had another option that were the heavy duty. Those were, I believe, two seventeen. dollars So it just depends on what you want or what's available. I just got the cheaper ones and picked up like about four, like I said, just to be safe. So I opened the package just to see how big the nets were and even tried the nets on just because I had big hips and thighs to where I just need to measure out how much netting I am going to be using. So we go to the drawing board and I see already that there's extra strength at the bottom so I decided to utilize that area and create little extra cinch knots kind of like the ones are throughout the whole net at the bottom as well and create extra length to our basketball net. Now that we added an extra row of knots, we cannot add any more. I decided I needed to add an extra basketball net to this to give me more length because it would have been above my booty if I did not. So what I did was took a pair of scissors and cut the loop-de-loops at the bottom of the net that we just made cinch knots to. And then I add a hot glue at the bottom of each of those little strings just so that the basketball net fibers would not come undone. And then I took the other basketball net in which at the top you will see that it has no knots and that's the part that we're going to use to attach the strings to. So pretty much you just take those strings and then make little knots around the basketball net to where all the pieces are connected. Just so this skirt did not look as ugly and out of place even though we're using a basketball net to make a skirt so what could be worse? I decided just to cut off the extra little strings that were hanging out after we tied those little knots. And then again I took my hot glue gun just to ensure the knot is in place and also that the fibers did not come loose. So I needed to try the skirt on in which at first I had did this method to where I had tied every other little knot around the upper part because my waist is smaller than my hips. But then later on I figured out that well I can just add elastic instead and that's what I ended up doing anyway. So just add elastic, skip the rest that I've done because you know I'm more of a difficult person. You don't have to be, okay? I'm saving you time. And then after that, I just tried on the skirt just to make sure that it fit within the means that I wanted it to fit. And then I moved on to the top. The top was really basic, actually. I just put my arms through the little loop-de-loops on the side. And then with the other loop-de-loops, I made little bows on both sides in the front and back just to give it a little bit of an extra pop. And it actually looked pretty decent like that alone. You can add a little bit of elastic to the bottom of the top as well like we did with the skirt. I didn't, but it's just a matter of your choice. I thought the top looked fine just by itself, so that's how I left it. But wait, there is more. Just one little last step that I did in order to make this look a little bit more glamorous. I just decided to take some rhinestones and add that to pretty much the front part that I will be like showing off because if I was to add this to the whole skirt it would have taken forever. And I didn't have the attention span for that but by all means do as you please. I just added these rhinestones in sections instead of each little knot nook and cranny 
because it's just gonna be too long and tedious of hard work done for me to not even probably really ever wear this again but with the wave of our little pixie magic wand we got it done and also a little bit of a glitter effect just to make it look that much more glam here are the final results drum roll please <laughs> I wanted to thank you guys for watching this video and if you liked it please give me a big fat thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time Mwah. bye bye